Okay, <laughs> Discovering Robin Hood by Stephen Busto. Uh, the Life of Joseph Ritson, Gentleman, Scholar, and Revolutionary. Um, so you're looking at more of his life, his career, um, like his legal career, um, his writing, um, like different events that have occurred during like his life and career. And it isn't until like about a hundred pages in and about a hundred pages in is about, um, near the end of like not the book but the information because like it goes into like four different appendixes and like notes and stuff so <laughs> nearly halfway through the book near the end of the book you are getting information about um this robin hood research so um if you're going into this wanting information about um, his research on Robin Hood, you're getting more about him than you are, um, that. That's what I took out of this anyway. Um, I may need to reread, but, um, I don't think I will reread. Um. So, like, you get, a like, chronological lodge oh my goodness like a timeline of his life um, so the author wanted to bring his name um, to the public notice once more um him becoming like vegetarian um so like it goes on with that um this view on the Hanoverian kings so mention of that. <laughs> um, um, going into uh, his research. Um, early 19th century was a good time if you were a fan of Robin Hood and all, all new interpretations of the legend um, were based upon their author's reading of Britain's Robin Hood a now forgotten Robin Hood novel titled Robin Hood a tale of the olden time was published a few months before the release of Scott's novel Britain, Britain's influence can be felt here because the first part of the novel is set in the 19th century at a dinner party where men and women are conversing on the subject um, of ancient ballads. Um, but yeah, um, so it's more on like the guy behind um, this work. Um, and him bringing Robin Hood more into um, the time he was at um, and that influence. So it's mainly on, um, this book is mainly on his life and um, the research he's done and stuff. So his legal career and then his writing like poetry and then uh, the Robin Hood stuff. So if If like biographies are more your thing, this can be a really uh, decent read for you, um, but not not really for the um, Robin Hood fans. I could be wrong, Robin Hood fans. I'm sorry if <laughs> you do like it, like this type of thing. But yeah, 
uh, discovering Robin Hood happy readings.